In this video, we're going to learn how to create this cinematic title in Premiere Pro. And we're going to do this in only five steps. So let's start with step number one. When it comes to creating a title, most of us have our video ready. The edit is pretty much done. But in case you're starting from scratch and for the purpose of this video, we will be making a new sequence. So first, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you are in the editing workspace. And if it looks any different than mine, I'm using the default workspace, then go to Windows and then workspaces and then click on reset to saved layout. All right, then we want to create a sequence by going to new item right here and then click on new sequence and choose any of the presets that fit your video. All right, the first thing that we need to do is we need to hit T on our keyboard and then click anywhere on the program monitor and start typing our text. Now, don't mind the font or the position of the text. We're going to be fixing that. And we can fix that by going to the effect control panel right here. So this is where we can change the font. We can change the size, alignment, tracking, all the things. So let's change the font. You can choose any font you want, but if you want to have this minimalist cinematic looking font, whatever that means, I would recommend something like Roboto or Montserrat. <laughs> I'm the worst at pronouncing names, but I'll, I'll put the fonts on the screen so you can pick one out if you want to. These are my suggestions. I'm going to choose this font and I'm going to use the bold version. So if you have an extra bold or a bold or a black version, use something like that. And then underneath, we're going to create a new title and we're going to make that one light or thin. All right, let's make the text smaller and let's increase the tracking, which is a space in between the letters. We're going to set that to 450. And we also want to make sure that we have enabled the shadows because that is going to give the text a little bit more dimension. Another way of doing this is in the essential graphics panel. So let's do that really quickly. So you know what it looks like and you know how to use it. So the first thing that we need to do obviously is open up the essential graphics panel by going to window and then check essential graphics. Then a panel will pop up right here and then make sure that you click on the tab edit. Now, as you can see, our title appeared right here. And here we basically have the same options, but what I like about the essential graphics panel is the alignment option. In the effects control panel, we can center align the text by clicking right here. And then if we go down here to transform and position, we can reset this and that will bring it to the center of the video. But with the controls in the essential graphics panel, you can easily align or center it vertically or horizontally. So my preference goes out to the essential graphics panel. And if you wanna add a subtitle, I also recommend using the essential graphics panel because it will all be in one layer. So in order to do that, just click on the program monitor again and start typing your new text. And as you can see, that text has now also appeared in the essential graphics panel and you only have one text layer. We're just going to change the font style, the size and the position. Okay, that looks pretty good, but it also looks really, really boring. So we're going to fix that by animating our titles. And in order to do that, we are going to the effect controls panel and then add a subtle zoom. All right, let's click on the little stopwatch in front of scale. Make sure that it turns blue, which means that it's enabled. And then move this little thingy, this diamond thingy, which is called a keyframe to the end of the clip. If you don't know what keyframes are, keyframes are basically checkpoints. We need to tell Premiere Pro to go from one point to another point. That is how we animate something. So in this case, we moved our keyframe to the end of the clip because that is our end position. We just designed the title, what we want it to end up looking like. So what we need to do in order to animate the scaling or create this zoom effect, we need to create a keyframe at the beginning of the clip. And we're going to do this by changing the value from 100 to 90. And as you change the value, you can see that another keyframe is already created. Now, if it happens that a keyframe is not created, then make sure to click on this little diamond thingy right here, which is a keyframe to create a keyframe. And then if you want to navigate from keyframe to keyframe, just click on either of these arrows right here. So now that we've created a nice subtle zoom, it is time to let our title fade in and fade out. And in order to do that, we're going to create some keyframes for the opacity. Now let's move this keyframe a little bit forward and then create another keyframe at 100 and then move it to about here. And then what we want to do is we want to create a keyframe for zero and we want to move that to the end of the clip and then we want to change the value to zero again to create another keyframe. And this time we leave this at the beginning. If you want to step it up even more and I don't blame you, then we need to add some blur. So let's go to the effects panel. And if you don't see the effects panel, go to window and then click on effects or hit shift seven and then type in blur. Now the type of blur that we're going to be using is the Gaussian blur. So click on that and then drop that on your text layer. 
Now, as you can see, it has appeared in the effect controls panel right here. So again, you know the drill, click on the stopwatch to create your first keyframe. And then we want to align this with the keyframes that we just made for the opacity. However, in this case, we're going to do the opposite. So when the keyframe was 100 at the opacity, we want it to be zero at Gaussian blur because we do not want any blur at that point. Okay, let's make another keyframe at zero and align that with this other keyframe right here. And then we want this title to blur in and blur out or blur out and blur in. I don't know. But what we're going to do is we're going to the beginning of the clip and then we're going to change it to 130. And then you want to go to the end of the clip and change it to the same number. So in this case, 130. I have good news because I turned that title that we just created into a free preset. So you will never have to do that again. Go check out the link in my description to get it. And now that you have some more free time, also go and make sure that you watch this video right here or this one right here. And I'll see you in the next one.